Faisal Islam, more now on the phone hacking scandal. And the former News International boss, Rebecca Brooks, told MPs repeatedly yesterday that she'd known nothing about the illegal practices at the News of the World and insisted she had no recollection about a meeting with police about the paper's surveillance of a senior murder detective, a meeting the Met have confirmed did take place. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Andy Davis, has more. Andy. Well, John, as you know, over the last 16 days, we've been profiling the case of Dave Cook and Jackie Hames, two murder detectives. Sorry, Dave Cook was the murder detective, Jackie Hames a, a detective, um, who claimed that they were put under surveillance in 2002 by News of the World. And that's an allegation that's never been denied. Now, two weeks ago, we, we revealed that the matter was considered so serious by Scotland Yard that the head of the PR at Scotland Yard, Dick Fedorcio, who we saw in Parliament yesterday, called Rebecca Brooks into the Yard on the 9th of January 2003, where Dave Cook, the murder detective, confronted Rebecca Brooks and said, you've put my family under surveillance. Some of your journalists have put us under surveillance. Um, not only that, we have major concerns about the ethical conduct of one of your senior journalists. Now, we've been write writing to Rebecca Brooks about this for two weeks now, and we haven't heard anything until yesterday when she went before Parliament and finally broke her silence when she was asked specifically about that meeting at Scotland Yard. I was asked recently, I think by Channel 4, um, about, uh, about the story you're referring to. My information, um, my, sorry, my recollection of that meeting was entirely different. Um, it, it, the, my recollection of the meeting was uh, on a completely different subject. Um, so I've, I'm only going on what, you know, on what I was told by, was by, by Channel 4. I, they say it's a meeting in November that I had, uh, that was what was put to me. I checked my diary as much as possible and there was no meeting in, 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 in November. However, there was a subsequent meeting um, in very early January. So it may be that it was that meeting. That was not my recollection of the meeting. Now for, for, for one day we had the wrong month, but since the 7th of July we've been writing to her with the exact date of that meeting, the 9th of January 2003, to avoid any doubt. And her basic response is that she just doesn't recall that meeting, which is, which is really quite strange because the police recall it very well. And here you had um, a News of the World editor being called in by the police and confronted over allegations of surveillance and ethical conduct of a journalist. So that is strange. We wrote to her today again and her spokesman came back and said she gave her answer yesterday.